Donald Trump's announcement rings out as a clarion call of moral certainty, a powerful move to shield society from its darkest threats. When people rally behind this policy, it's because they see the crucial need for justice, accountability, and unwavering leadership in these challenging times. With your vote, we will seal the border, stop the invasion, and launch the largest deportation effort in American history. We will impose tough new sentences on illegal alien criminals. These include 10-year mandatory minimum sentence for anyone guilty of human smuggling, a guaranteed life sentence for anyone guilty of child trafficking, and a death penalty for anyone guilty of child or woman sex trafficking. We'll also impose the death penalty on major drug dealers and traffickers in other countries on their immigration papers. There is a statement that says, death for drug traffickers, big letters, big bold letters, 10 times the size of everything else on the page. I saw it this morning. And those are the countries where they have no problem with drugs. Many of them actually. We will also impose the death penalty for anyone killing our police, sheriffs, border patrol, ICE, or law enforcement officials. The death penalty with a quicker trial, not a trial that lasts for 15 years and everybody gets exhausted. We will liberate our country from the illegal alien drug dealers, robbers, murderers, gang members, and child predators. And we will make America safe again for our citizens and make it greater stronger, better, more beautiful than ever before. Law and order, justice, and the protection of our most vulnerable. These are not just lofty ideals, but the very foundation of a safe society. The death penalty for heinous crimes isn't just a deterrent. It's a necessary stand, a message to those who would commit such atrocities that their actions will not go unanswered. The call for public support stems from a deep-seated belief that strong, uncompromising leadership is vital to restoring safety and order. It's about more than just punishment. It's about confronting evil head-on, asserting our moral values, and taking full responsibility for those who violate the most basic human rights. The death penalty for crimes like child trafficking or rape is not just an act of justice. It's a societal declaration that these violations are so severe, so damaging, that they demand the ultimate consequence. The psychological scars left by these crimes on victims and society cry out for justice. And this policy answers that call. It's a response born from a desire for public safety and a deep need for justice in the face of unfathomable evil. For victims and their families, the death penalty offers a glimmer of closure, a sense that justice has been served. The overwhelming public support for this policy is rooted in a collective cry for moral retribution and a belief that society must be protected from such harm. This policy not only reflects the public's awareness of justice, but also highlights the role of government in safeguarding its citizens. Among those who prioritize law and order, who see the current system as too lenient, or inefficient in dealing with serious crimes, this announcement is likely to be met with resounding approval. It resonates deeply with the desire for strong leadership and decisive action, echoing the belief that enough is enough. 